I'm currently on a vacation or a break from working. I use the words break or vacation loosely because technically I'm not really on vacation. What I decided to do was uh, change all of my processing and shipping dates on Etsy. So I didn't close my shop fully. I just changed them to a longer date that fits in with my life at the moment and just when I'm going to be able to work on orders. And I did that because the kids are about to go back to school. I just want to spend as much time with them as I can. I also signed off all of my social media, the things that have to do with my business like Instagram, TikTok, anything that has to do with work. I kind of just took a break from for a little bit because I just wanted to be present. I was able to work on some orders because everyone was outside. We were all, sorry, I'm turning on my computer. We were all outside, we were all doing stuff in the garage. So I figured since everybody was already outside for most of the day, I had some time to work on some things because I did get orders in. And when it comes to Etsy, I have heard that they do not like when you close your shop. So I never close my shop whenever I am going on vacation or whenever I'm taking a break. Instead, I just change my shipping time or my processing time to go with when I'll be able to make and ship orders. So anyway, um, since I am going to be able to get everything back up and running in, I think three days the kids go back to school. I changed all of my shipping dates yesterday. So everything is just back to normal now. Being that we were all outside and you know, I was able to get work done yesterday. I'm all caught up, which is perfect. I got some extra things done. So I am gonna be stocking up on my most popular items so i cut up a whole bunch of stuff yesterday and then i have some vinyl over here for some tumblers which i cut up as well and then i made more tumblers which you can't see they're up there so i have ready to ship tumblers all good to go i do need to make some more i don't know if i'm gonna work on that right now i think i might just work on cutting the stuff and not actually making and yeah i also have to get myself organized i have to make myself a list because when the kids go back that's when i'm gonna like full go into work mode and you know just get stuff prepared oh i also have to pack another order let me see it's for my fragile stickers so these i already have them made they're good to go all i have to do is package them up so i have um, an order for that that i have to get ready i love that i have these ready to go because i don't have to make them every single time having them ready to ship and having them all made also makes my life easier and it makes my job more enjoyable i found that when i'm remaking the same things over and over again i kind of lose my passion and i kind of lose the happiness that work gives me because you know i want to be able to enjoy my job i have learned that um if i do things in like like if i take a day to just stock up and do things in batches it just makes it so much easier than making them each and every single time then i just start to get bored with it and i just start to lose that interest this is the best way that works for me and i'm gonna continue to do it that way so that i don't get bored and I can continue to love what I do.
started using my 12 by 24 cutting mat again because it just helps me cut so much more I have always used the 12 by 12 and I don't know why I didn't think to use the bigger one I've had it up there like in the corner all the way over there for such a long time and I don't remember the last time I used it but I brought it out yesterday and it wasn't sticky enough so of course I used my Zigaloo to make it sticky again and that's just been working fine so it's cutting my vinyl for the signs right now and to be honest I don't think I have anything else to do while I'm waiting so I'm just kind of chilling here on my phone a little bit the kids keep coming in and out uh, to get some paint because they're making some type of carts or go-karts or I, I don't know what they're making but um that's what they're doing I'm trying to you need me to open it okay You shook it up before? Yeah. Okay, good job. I'm also watching YouTube. If you guys have a YouTube channel, let me know in the comments. Uh, link your channel or just write a comment saying that you have a YouTube channel. That way I can go check it out because I am running out of people to watch. I'm running out of things to watch. Every single time that I'm working, I like to have YouTube in the background. Um, there are some days where I like to have music, but for the most part, I like to have YouTube in the background. So if you guys have YouTube channels that you know that I'm not subscribed to already or you think I'm not subscribed to, then just leave your channels in the comments or just leave a comment i'll check them out or i'll let you know that you know i'm already subscribed or whatever the case may be i can't comment if i'm watching your youtube videos because it's literally like on my desktop while i'm working if i am subscribed then i will let you know or if i do subscribe i will let you know because i don't think my subscriptions are visible no they're not <laughs> some reason it didn't cut the word from here and from here so I'm gonna have to recut those I just I don't know why that's so weird it messed up the worth on both of them and then I do have another one here but I'm gonna cut this out first because I didn't do a rectangle for that one I just have to weed that later on when I have some time the little ones are what's a little bit more of a pain up with the cutting today but even this one gave me trouble noise right now i haven't heard it make that noise ever in the history of its life i am hoping it does not give out i have the original silhouette cameo the one that the first one that ever came out and it has been my ride or die for such a long time i think i got it back in 2015 yeah my husband got it for me for christmas 2015 and it has been going strong so i 
I really hope that it like doesn't mess up or anything because I've never heard it make that squeaking sound It's not making it right now, which is a good sign, but I do not want to buy another one I do not want to replace it. I just I want to have this machine forever. I don't Call me crazy, but I just want to have this machine forever Fingers crossed that everything is good all right, I have everything laid out. There's still some things that I need to weed, like these right here. I have to weed, where are they? Some of these, um, some of these as well. I have to weed out just the little tiny pieces. That's gonna be another day. That's definitely going to be later on in the week because I have to end the video right here. I don't wanna take away any more time from the kids today. So I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this shorter video. It may not be as interesting because I really didn't have a lot going on. And I think I'm gonna speed up a lot of it because I wasn't doing much except for cutting and halfway weeding out but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will talk to you guys next time bye this is one of the reasons why i was able to get some work done because the kids are outside creating masterpieces they made a big mess but i think their masterpieces came out great picasso over here <laughs> and then we got bob ross